kids in this area to go and see a London Knights game. And this is something that is done each and every year in conjunction with the Western Mustang women's softball team. Joining us is the head coach of that team, Dr. Peter Lemon. Dr. Lemon, how are things? Just great, Mike. How are you? Good, good. We need some softball. We that's I'm I think, you know, the the snow kind of melted away. You can almost see a ball diamond. <laughs> That's right. It's uh, it's great to start thinking about spring and uh, and ball again. Of course, we're working out uh, you know indoors, and we get a little antsy uh, to get outdoors. Hopefully, it'll warm up soon. Well, you also have a project that continues on basically throughout the year, and this is something that has grown really large, and it's in combination with the London Knights, and it helps out all kinds of kids who may never otherwise get to a London Knights game. Take us back to when this all began. Well, it actually started uh, six years ago, and uh, we had about 75 kids that we wanted to get to a Knights game, um, and we asked the community to buy some tickets so we could do that, and the Knights provided us with the tickets, and um, it's expanded now to about 500 kids, and uh, we've got all kinds of pregame activities that the Knights provide for the kids. Uh, we've got um, Domino's Pizza and the Middlesex um Dairy producers involved to provide a snack for the kids. They get to tour the dressing room. They get to sit in the penalty box. One of them wins an autographed jersey by the night. So it just each year it gets a little bit bigger. And but the main thing is just the the fun that the kids have. Um, these are all kids from area service groups like the Big Brothers and Big Sisters, or Boys and Girls Club, Boy Scouts. Um, so they're they're kids who wouldn't get to go otherwise. And and that's what makes it so much fun. So you've gone from 75 up to 500. You've gone from one game now to two games. This is growing bigger. And if someone is just hearing about it for the first time, they still have an opportunity to help out in this way. You talk about buying a ticket. How does this actually work? Well, we have a, a website where they can go to and just uh, purchase a ticket with a credit card. Uh, $25 will get another child to the game. And as I mentioned to you before, we have about 40 tickets left for the February 15th game. So if somebody wanted to buy a ticket or a couple of tickets and we could get those 40 sold, that'd be perfect. Probably the easiest way to do this is if you just go onto Google and put uh, sticks and bats, comma, Western softball. It'll take you right to the website where you can put your credit card information in there and buy a ticket or buy five tickets or whatever whatever you can afford. And you're helping kids to get to the game on the 15th of February and take part in a pretty unique experience. That's for sure. Uh, I sat beside uh, a nine-year-old at the game a couple of weeks ago, and he was so excited to be at a game because he'd never been before, but he's a big Knights fan. And, and he said, and you know, this game is free. I didn't have to pay for the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's a lot of fun um, to see the smiles on their faces. And uh, uh, even the, uh, you know, the Knights mascot gets into it, and, you know, the kids just love them. And so it's, it's, it's a real fun day for everybody. We're talking with Dr. Peter Lemon who is the head coach of Western's women's softball team. And we're talking about an initiative that started six years ago and is growing absolutely huge. And again, all you have to do, best thing to do, is to Google sticks and bats Mustang softball, and you will be taken right to that website if you would like to buy a ticket for a child in this area that will then get to go to the game on the 15th. If we're talking softball for just a couple of minutes, you guys have had some fantastic success. How do you put your program into perspective in terms of what you've been able to do in that regard? Well, it's, it's really a, a passion of mine. I mean, I love working with athletes. I had a great experience myself as a university athlete. And the success on the diamond is sort of secondary to the success that these young women have um, when they graduate, the jobs that they get. Um, we're really trying to build community leaders through, through softball. 
and we've we've expanded this in recent years to our youth camps. Uh, we have a lot of eight to ten year old girls who are already planning on being Mustang athletes because of the interactions they have with our current student athletes. So it's it's an awesome experience, and there's no real secret. We we work hard. We concentrate on the fundamentals, and we we end up executing uh, pretty well because of that that preparation. And so we've had a, a string of uh, of good years. Well, another one will be here sooner instead of later because uh, the groundhog said that spring is right around the corner. We, we've got to got to take the groundhog at their word. But even before then, February fifteenth, you can help someone who doesn't normally get to a night's game to beat a night's game to tour the dressing room to sit in the penalty box to meet scoresy all of those things just google sticks and bats mustang softball and it really does take you right to that website the website is one that has a, a bit of a longer address to it so sticks and bats mustang softball google that click on it dr lemon thank you for everything you do well thanks mike we really appreciate your assistance dr peter lemon Head coach of the Mustang softball team. News is coming up.